this, 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 yes, even this. What do they have in common? They can solve some of life's biggest problems. But they also emit EMFs. What did you say? Now, WTF is EMF. Let's break it down. An electromagnetic field, or EMF, is a byproduct of an electrical current. Atoms floating around the field get excited and unstable. To become stable again, they release energy, called emissions. This energy emission is radiation. When radiation moves through the air, it travels in waves. Higher frequency waves emit a lot of energy and have a shorter wavelength. Lower frequency waves are longer and emit low energy. Could you just give me a few hours to... Oh! All these waves are placed on a spectrum, the electromagnetic spectrum. They're ordered from low energy waves to high energy waves. The high energy waves are grouped together as ionizing waves, which are the most powerful. That's the cool looking stuff from the movies. Gamma rays and nuclear energy, X-rays, and even some UV rays are ionizing. These can instantly cause damage to the body, and the most powerful kinds can even kill on contact by shattering electrons and fracturing the molecules in our bodies instantly. Or it could give you freckles and my old friend the sunburn. It makes you feel better. Ah! Then comes the less popular younger brother, non-ionizing radiation. While it's weaker, it can still alter cells on a biological level after a long period of exposure. And I just can't take it anymore, Jacob. These waves include visible light, infrared, microwaves, and then the two we're most concerned about, radio waves, RF, and extremely low frequency waves, ELF. Which brings us back to this, and this, and even this. ELF radiation comes from currents flowing in an electronic device. It is the lowest frequency of radiation, but all devices emit it. Anything that gets power from a plug or a battery. Since most are used briefly and at a safe distance away, they aren't as damaging in the long run. Everything is gonna be all right. But you still might want to throw your alarm clock across the room in the morning. Smart devices, most people's wake-up call, emit not only ELF radiation, but RF radiation, emitted when your smart device connects to the air. It went up to the cloud! And you can't get it down from the cloud? Nobody understands the cloud. Your mobile device shoots off these radio waves whenever you connect to the cloud, access free Wi-Fi, call or FaceTime people, check emails, swipe right on Tinder, track your run, track your sleep, track your location, or when you talk to your BFF Alexa. What the hell is wrong with this blasted thing? Amanda! So many sources of EMF exist, but the chief squad of EMF emitters are gonna be your mobile devices. Hello? People these days are just glued to them. Oh, got an Instagram like. Since these guys emit both ELF and RF frequencies, that means double trouble. Everyone is walking in this electrosmog, since everyone is connected to their mobile phones, tablets, laptops, smartwatches, Bluetooth headphones, Wi-Fi. I said, leave me alone! And boy, can this RF radiation travel. Bluetooth signals travel up to 30 feet, Wi-Fi can travel hundreds of feet, and a cell phone signal, that's several miles. But the closer you are to the source of radiation, the worse off you'll be. Direct skin contact with your devices, especially when they're against your head and other soft tissue organs, is the most harmful. The kind of really short distance between us and our electronic devices, and the really long time we spend on them, can lead to quite the list of health effects. I knew I should have stayed home today. Even low levels of EMF exposure can damage DNA strands, heat cells, change their makeup, and disrupt entire processes in the body. Houston, we have a problem. This can lead to reproductive effects, genotoxic effects like DNA fragmentation, fertility problems, glioma and megalioma, brain cancer, cellular stress, release of heat shock proteins, cognitive effects, behavioral effects, sleep effects, integrity changes, the blood-brain barrier, and even create electromagnetic hypersensitivity syndrome. And that's just what's been researched so far. You have no idea what's coming. Much like smoking, negative health effects will keep popping up as a generation of mobile natives like me fall victim to an experiment that we didn't even know we were in. Want more info? Sign up for our exclusive newsletter to get a free EMF protection guide and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to keep up with us on Facebook and Instagram for the latest research and tips on EMF safety.